Japan. And this is our second month in Japan. Welcome to Eat Your Sushi. You don't mind that we're switching to months, do you? I think it's better that way. As soon as you get past eight weeks, then it starts getting a little bit weird. I don't want to sound like those parents whenever you ask them how old their child is. They're like, oh, they're 37 weeks. I don't have a calculator on me. Can you just like make it relatable into months or years or something like that? Because I cannot do that. It's like when you shop for clothing for babies and it's like for 35 months no, to what? weeks old. I'm no, like, I don't no, know what a baby no. looks like. Like, what, what Months, is the size? years, that's it. We feel like we have a lot of, st we, the royal we, of yes. course, have uh, many exciting transportation stories. The royal stories. we, it's just the two of us, that's we. That's still we, 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 we. <laughs> Speaking of which. Kogi's here. Kogi's here. I know a lot of people on Twitter were like, they thought that I was reunited with um, Spudgy and Memers, but mm -hmm. I was in fact reunited with my travel pig, yep. Kogi, who speaks as following. We, 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 That's how he speaks. We, 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 we. That's when he says when things are smelly. Yep. Anyways, poor Kogi. He got packed into a shoebox. <sighs> Can you believe that? What? Here I was imagining him mm. amongst soft cushions and blankets nope. and making his way across the ocean on like a luxurious liner. He was with all my summer shoes. Yep. I think it's because I was carrying him in the room while they were packing it yep. and I put him down. Press split second, gone. And he was just stuffed in with the shoes and I imagined, get in there, he's not too big, get in the pig, get in the Poor Kogi. And I imagined him being like, trying to explain to him that he's VIP, being like, wee, 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 like pulling out his little ID bag and then they're just like wee 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 and he's like wee 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 and then they just like tape up the box and he was like screaming. You'd be amazed how many full conversations you could have just by using the word wee. And expressive gestures. Wee 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 wee. I feel like this is not the way that our first story was supposed to go but I got really. No we were probably going to talk about other things but wee 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 wee. Uh I need you to come out here for a second. Why what's up? Come take a look. Did you find Kogi? Did you find Kogi? What's in that box there? Oh, his shoes. We'll keep looking. Please tell me Kogi didn't get packed in with shoes. <gasps> Kogi, buddy! Wee, wee, wee! Baby boy! <laughs> you were with the shoes? How did that happen to you? Wee wee wee. He said he was really scared. Wee wee wee. Nothing. It's nothing, Togi. But we're together and that's all that's important and you have a new brother. Wee! Oh no, no. you'll... You'll meet them later. So if you guys have recently seen our Sakura Everything video, you might yes. have noticed that we were on bicycles. Right. It's our new Eat Your Sushi Mubio. Oh. Eat Your Sushi Mubio. The Eat Your Sushi Mubio. I can't seem to say that today. Eat the your mobile? Sushi Mobile. Mobile. Yes. Is that a weird word now? Mobile. You're making Mabel. it weird is what you're doing. Mobile. It's Eat fine. your sushi mobile. Yes. Okay, what's cool about this is that it's not a normal bicycle. They're yeah. actually electric bikes. Oh, it's assisted pedaling. So like as soon as you push down a little bit, then it does all the work for you. I feel like I have an exoskeleton. I feel like a robot. It's amazing. Yeah. I tried turning it off once to see what it was like, and suddenly mm. it was like this death struggle oh. to move my gigantic body. The point of the story is that one day we were actually riding our bikes to an intersection, and we were about to cross, and we were waiting at the lights. And at the lights, there there was a truck that was coming through and another car actually wound up jumping to turn before it's his turn. Yeah, and the truck, like it was a gigantic truck for a tiny car. I'm like, this is gonna like, be oh my death. God, like it, yeah. it just happens. The truck didn't wind up hitting him, but he leaned on his horn. But what was weird about it is that when he leaned on his horn, it wasn't just like a bah, bah, bah. Like a Instead, the horn went That's not an appropriate horn for a gigantic truck just about to send you to the pearly gates of heaven You need something that gives you the fear of death from a gigantic truck. That is not it Maybe he never expected to have to honk at anyone. I know because everyone's quite good at driving in Japan So I maybe... never hear horns actually being honked no, in I Japan. I never hear horns. I just I... think that like Japan in many ways is very cute But that was one instance in which it was inappropriate. Inappropriate like cute Japan so we're unpacking all these things. We don't remember what is packed up here. So we're pretending this is Christmas and now we've got each other gifts. Okay, got you something for Christmas. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. What did you get me? I don't know. What Open it. Oh my gosh. It could be your I'm favorite ready. thing ever. Oh my gosh. It's, what is it? 
basket. Not just any baskets. It's a uh, our YouTube basket. <gasps> Your ice pack for your joints. So exciting. This is a really good one. It's still actually cold. <laughs> I can't believe it. Merry Christmas. Oh my gosh, look at these. These jump at these. We legitimately need these jump back. It's like you got this present for yourself. It's my Christmas gift for you, for me. <laughs> to you. <laughs> Those are all my ice packs. Yay, I Yay. need your ice pack. Let's put them in the freezer right now and ice you up, girl. Okay, what, what did you get me? Well, let's see, let's see what did you get, girl. Are you ready? I got you something really special. I'm just gonna reach in. Got you something really special. What is it? Let's see. It's small, it's probably extensive jewelry. Okay. What is it? You're so good at wrapping it. I am, I just like get a whole bunch of paper and just like encircle it over You're and over so again. Good at it. You got me bag clips. Oh my gosh, I knew you'd love them. And a banana pot holder. Yeah, let me know what you think. I wasn't sure if you want a banana pot holder. For my Sundubu Chige pot, because it gets too hot. I know. Such a thoughtful husband kitchen stuff. Merry Christmas, girl. You're so... Mm. So we are still trying to learn Japanese, and I think I'm going to be saying that for like the next was, three years or so. I was going to so. say. It's I not like we stop. like, okay, we're and done. And we're done. Um, so we have learned a new phrase now, it's like how to ask for where the toilet is. And it's, don't judge me too harshly. Do it, Simon, no stress. Toire wa doko desu ka. Toire wa doko desu ka. Toire wa doko desu ka. And this is what we were saying, Martin and I, in the sub. We were like practicing back and forth. Well, because I'll tell you what's interesting uh -huh. is that if you're married to someone who speaks the same language as you, like yeah. English and English, uh -huh. you don't really speak Japanese yeah. at all. We don't so speak you, Japanese to each other. Right, no. so you have to kind of like make an effort to try to speak yeah. the language with each other. So we're on the subway and for like 10 minutes like Tore wa doko desu ka? 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 And then we just, we step back for a moment and we realize I'm wondering if all the Japanese people that are overhearing our conversation are thinking to themselves, damn, these people really love their toilets. They really need to really, go to the washroom. Really, really love talking about toilets. Should we step in and help Maybe them? Maybe we should help them so that they could stop talking about toilets because it's crazy creeping me out and it's creeping everybody else Especially out. because the subway system is really quiet yes, in Japan, like yes. uncomfortably And we're shouting, up. where is the toilet? Okay. Okay. Toilet! Let's just tone that down, big boy. I have okay. one good ear left and you're screaming right. at it. I need this for survival. We need it. I think that like we've actually gotten a lot quieter in Japan. Mm -hmm. People have noticed in our videos too. Because yes. you walk onto the subway with your normal talking voice and it's just like, ah. I also have the neutralizing voice. My voice is deep, and the sound, the ambient sound of the subway it's, it's is like- It's like a white noise canceling machine for your voice. So we make you talk in a different voice whenever you're on the subway. I have to speak in my Opa voice. Use your Opa voice on the subway, because otherwise nobody can hear you. Toira wa doko desu ka? 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 Doko desu ka? For God's sake, get these people a toilet. After many months, of sad emptiness. I think I finally found. Na na na! Oh yes, baby. The the, the snake is back in the cage. The, the 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 banana is back in the banana holder. What? I, I don't so know. our friends Brian and Whitney came to visit us in Japan, and we swang by the hotel that they were staying at. Swang. We swang right by What's it. It's a swang. It's like a swing. It's swang, but it's in the past. You swung. swung by it. No, you swung. He can swing. Why would you swung something? Because would you, you say swung we swung by, by their hotel? You swung by. Sure, we swung by their hotel. No, he swung. <laughs> I'm sure. Swang is not a word. I'm, I'm sure. sure swang I'm is sure a word. swang is not a word. I feel like 83% sure we it's swang. We gotta ask the British guy, is swang a word? I swung by the hotel. It's your language. You invented it. You swung by the hotel? Yeah. Right. Thank you. But isn't swung the past? Swung is the past. What if it's like, I'm gonna swing by your hotel? <laughs> I'm gonna swing, girl! How about we get some swang of it here? Okay, well, Martina <laughs> declares a new word. Swing. So we went Swing to their hotel. hotel. <laughs> there was a bus, a shuttle bus from the hotel to the subway, and we saw this bus pulling up in front of the hotel. Everyone's getting off. Everyone's getting off. And then the bus was driving up, and then it stopped for a bit, and a guy tried to get onto the bus, and the bus driver said, Stop! And then he closed, closed the, the door, door in front of the guy, and then he drove literally one meter over, and then he opened up the doors, and then he let him in. Look, I understand you might have a routine that you're going for, but like one meter is not that big of a deal. Mm -hmm. You could relax a little bit. Come on. I mean, one meter. Uh, come on. It's, mm, 
-hmm. but we have noticed that Japan is very uh, strict with their rules. Like yes. if they close at 12, they're closed at 12. Yeah. If the lunch special goes until 4, it goes until 4. Yeah. If you show up at 4 or 1, it's Done. over. Yeah. Okay? Like even when we were at a bar recently, uh -huh. it closed at 11, which seemed yeah. quite early to me for they, like, Friday night. They like open up the doors and turn off light <laughs> and, and the, the cold air started going in and they're just like, pain, get out. They and they're giving everybody <laughs> the receipts, boom, 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 now go. As you know, I'm a big male fan lately and I've been really missing Sunny in Korea. Couldn't really find anyone in Japan yet. I've been looking things up online. But then I found this girl who kind of reminds me of Sunny. She has her own little shop from her own little apartment and she does sculpture nails. And I'm like, I don't know what the heck a sculpture nail is, but you know what? I'm gonna try this out. And I met her today and she was lovely and she likes lots of things that I like, including Sailor Moon. So we decided to do some Sailor Moon nails and she hand sculptured me. Sailor Moon transformation nails. Look at this. Can you even believe that? Look at that brooch. She put on gold wings from scratch. She made this literally like play doh it in front of me and out of the gold and put on individual jewels. Like, I died. And there's tiny little stars and hearts that you can't see from the camera. It's so magic. Speaking of trying to jump the gun and get on the bus early, it's time for the weekly challenge! Now, this, I don't want to be part of this awful okay, challenge. Okay, this is, we Ooh, got this at this. Don Quixote and we're like, oh, okay, so this is fun. Like, let's buy all the toys. I actually think that this is probably the worst thing that we could possibly have bought. You see, this is a gun. It's called Balloon Roulette. It's called Balloon Roulette and you're just gonna like point it at each other and we're gonna <laughs> shoot the gun. <laughs> the gun, and the gun has. And then the loser is the one that gets a balloon in the face, but I feel like we're all losers in this well, one. Well, you didn't explain, like we tested it out earlier yeah. without the balloon. It yeah. actually has like a spike and then it just goes, <laughs> and like pops out. Yep. I don't even know if he inflated the balloon enough I don't know. to pop. Like maybe I don't it'll know. just bend it. Maybe, but... we'll see. You know what this reminds me of? What? Uh, a long time ago we played the I, board all game I know. Cafe. Three. No, no, oh. no, oh. I'm oh. not playing anymore. Oh. No. Oh. <laughs> just like my neck is all tense right now. I'm just like, I'm getting ready to scream and be uncomfortable. I think what we agreed with is that mm. there is no winner. There's there no is. winner in this. You're supposed well, we to stick to it to your own head. I'm not going to stick to my own head. That's crazy. I'll be like this. Boom. I guess it didn't work and I'll just pass it. So I we're gonna we're gonna machines. shoot it at each other, but we're gonna put on headphones in between each round because yeah. um, Martina has one good ear left, so. and we don't want to actually hurt that ear. Yeah. But shouldn't I point this at your deaf ear instead? That would make more sense. It would. Okay, so and I'm then gonna you turn have to like switch like sides. <laughs> They're like this. I don't even point it near me right now. Okay, so, okay, I, so Simon gets shot at I first. Get shot at first. Okay. Okay, go for it. Are we ready? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You gotta pull back the so trigger. I cock the gun. Oh <laughs> my god, this is terrible. <laughs> I don't want to do this anymore. Okay, go for it. <laughs> Where can Why I go? did we agree to this? Okay, okay, okay go. Go. <laughs> okay, go. <laughs> Ah. <laughs> <laughs> How many times did you pull it? I only pulled it once. You only pulled it once? Yeah. It burst without anything happening. Yeah. We just screamed we really just hard screamed. and we just sonic boomed okay. the... Okay. All right, here we go. <laughs> this time. This time. Okay, go for it. I'm so ready. Okay. 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 Ready? Okay. Okay. Okay, here we go. Huh. Okay. Okay, I'm backing up. Ready? Keep your eyes closed. Okay, not bad. Your turn. I'm going to wrap around your head. You ready? Okay, that's it. Okay. <laughs> you didn't even hear it. <laughs> okay. Okay. Go. Okay. Okay. Ready? Okay. Okay, uh, ready? Ha, 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 ha. Ha. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be me, isn't it? It is. It could still be you. Ready? No, I'm not ready. No one's ready. I'm not ready. Okay. Okay. Oh, not bad. Oh, not bad. Oh. Not bad, oh. not bad, not bad, not bad. What a terrible game this is. It might be Simon. Okay, okay, go. You ready? Yeah. You ready? Oh. What? Oh my god. What? Okay, looks like it's you. What? Looks like it's you, girl. How many bullets are in a machine gun? <laughs> this is not a, what, this, what this is is not a machine gun. Oh. Okay, here we go. <laughs> that was terrible. That was not any fun. I don't like this game. It's real sad. Real sad. So we are both, we both face the puncher in that one. There's no puncher for this. Everyone's Double KO. Hey, you think you're gonna get it? Here we go. Oh, it went so wide. Just, I just need ten more dollars. I just need ten more, just ten more dollars, and 
I can get it. Look at his stupid face. He looks like Rumpelstiltskin. He does. Smitty. Just ten more dollars. Oh. Me too. Can we answer some happy questions? Let's do that. Okay, so the first question is from Jadok. Mr. Loverman. Jadok. Uh, Jadok wants to know if we have any plans on visiting the Studio Ghibli Museum. Ooh. And the answer is yes, we do. For Next week. For sure. Yeah. yeah. Except we didn't realize that you have to buy tickets in advance. Like, yeah. It seems like, as we talked about before, everything mm. in Japan requires reservation, free reserving things. Yeah. <laughs> well, how are your hands so cold? I'm just. What is with your circulation? That's because I was Sweet terrified. Mercy. I was terrified. Put those on your stomach. No. That should be the next game that we play. The loser has to touch Skittle your whole dummy. Right up in my armpits for warmth. <laughs> I'm good. Anyways, our friends are visiting from Kobe. Our Gosh, are, Simon. Yes. It took and, so long uh, to tell the story. They have actually reserved tickets, so we're going to all go together. Unfortunately, we can't film anything yeah. there because they won't let you film anything there, but I'm going to like walk around with like a helmet cam hopefully like this. Hopefully they won't notice. Hopefully they won't notice. Let's see if they notice. We should put a hat on and yeah. just cut a hole out. Right. And, yeah. Or we could wear like a chest cam, the ones that like strap across and just be like, this is just the way that I roll. I don't roll. think that we should announce this on video before before we're actually going <laughs> we in, show up and they're like, no, they're going to have like wanted posters. Make no, sure that's these that's people don't come in. Studio Ghibli, we were lying about that. We're not actually going to do yeah. that. But I, I heard the reason why you can't film is because they show secret unreleased footage. Uh -huh. That's pretty cool. Yeah. So we'll be able to enjoy that. So soon. Yeah, you'll see pictures on Instagram for sure. Mm -hmm. So I like sandwiches and I like ramen. How do I feel about ramen sandwiches? Oh boy, what did you buy? We found this at the supermarket. We figured, why not try a ramen sandwich? Just look at this. <laughs> it's like got the crust cut off and everything. It looks like a little like pocket thingy. So what? there's barely any stuffing in okay, wait, here. Wait, wait, stop moving it. Let me get a good look at this. I see noodles in here. Looks like noodles. There's actually noodles in there? Yeah. Stop looks... examining it, mister. You're Just taking eat it apart it. like hey, a doctor. Here we go. Wow, that was great. Really? Oh my God. Who knew a ramen sandwich would be so good? Oh. Oh. Really? Yeah, look, what does it look like on the outside? Oh, it's like a, a straight up like. Yeah. There's a lot of bread ah. here that has nothing in it, just plain bread. But damn, ramen sandwiches. This is legit. That's a lot of extra bread. <laughs> This is the only part that has ramen. We've got birdies outside. We can bring it <gasps> to the birdies. birdies. No, they're gonna no, no, poop, poop on poop everywhere. Everything. We just watched a bird unload its poop cycle. You want like a bite it. of this or no? Um, have a bite. Because uh, I'm just gonna eat it all. Okay, I'll have a bite. I'll have a nibble. Wow. Oh. I'm sure it would be better if we could have warmed it up too. Mm -hmm. That tastes to me like an MSG sandwich. Oh my god. <laughs> so much salty goodness, mm -hmm. MSG. Mm. The next question is from Shine101 now who wants to know, are we used to living in a house yet? And the answer is no. I was gonna say no as well. No, it's very, very different. All these keys, I had to buy a wallet to hold my keys because mm -hmm. I actually have keys. I only had card keys before in Korea. I'm not used to this yet. Uh, not to mention the obvious one, which is that we have never lived on the first level before, ever. We've always lived in an apartment. Oh yeah, always. exactly. Like, our first apartment in Windsor was yeah. on like the fourth floor, wasn't exactly. it? Exactly, so yeah. like we like have to lock her door and we have stairs well, You step outside there. and you have to leave yeah. garbage on the uh -huh. side of the street, like, yep. like a normal like garbage can exactly. ringing. Yeah. And then also like when you like get into the house, you're supposed to say tadaimasu, I'm pretty sure. So we say tadaimasu, we have, no, we have no one to say hi to, it's just <laughs> the two of us, but we say hi to the house. You say hi house. For some reason our house sounds like spudgy, so yeah. whenever we leave, I'm like bye house, bye, and house the house is like, wow, where are you going? And we're like, we're just gonna get groceries. And he's like, okay, will you bring them for me? And we're like, okay. We need a little bit of more diversity in our voice acting because our house cannot sound like Spudgy because how are we gonna get that different from Spudgy? Spudgy okay, I'm gonna make a house sound that Okay, ready? let's hear it. You can tell me which you like more. Hello! <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, in no. Simon and Marty. That's Martina. terrifying. No, why don't we do more like a? Whoa, where's everyone going? What's up? Like, why can't I come with you guys? Mm, I and think we can be like, sorry, house, you can't. We can be like, why can't I come with you? We'll be like, well, you're a house. We'll be like, oh, that makes sense. So, okay, let's make sure you bring me some pillows and clean the floor sometime. Why does our house sound like it's like? got allergies. <laughs> because we live it's in like it now, sickly, so it's dirty and filthy. And it's like and probably, it's probably like, under like a hot water bottle <laughs> exactly. and shivering. It's shivering, it's like, hey guys, our, if you could just vacuum. Our house is like vacuum, happy and <laughs> sprightly. It's not like sick and dying. We'll work more. on this. This lineup is so big. They had to put a guy on the stairs mm -hmm. to not let people on. That is nuts. This is the busiest subway stop I've ever seen. We have to like work our way up the stairs. It's so packed down there. 
that they have to keep a rope here. Lock it up. It's amazing. And be free! The next one is from Dan Sandman on Twitter, who actually went to our live show as well. Hello again. And he wound up saying he's about to go to Coca Curry for the first time. Any advice on what to order? Okay, let's okay. just back up a second. All right, because we're pretty much pros in it now. <clears throat> yeah, I'm happy that you swing on by a Coca Curry because. It really is the place to be. You know what? We actually learned something very interesting. Whenever we order Coca Curry, we like it super spicy. So we mm. always get level 10 spice. You can have like different degrees of spice. We order level 10. But every time we ordered level 10 spice in English, they gave us this like soft, more like a level 5 because maybe they didn't think that we knew what we were doing. Mm -hmm. But now we're actually ordering in Japanese. So we would say Ju Kara, which I'm not sure if it's like fully right, but Ju is 10 and Kara is spice. So yeah. you ask for Ju Kara. That has unlocked a whole new world it's like of spice. Now they're like it's like mm. you have said the secret password i grant you the fire butt that you're going to have later on tonight um, not me <laughs> maybe you get fire butt <laughs> oh you eat really spicy butt. food then fire, fire, fire butt anyhow hurts so every direction make sure you try to order it in japanese okay coco curry is not indian curry it's nope. not indonesian curry it's not korean curry it's japanese curry but it's different than the rest of the chains it yep. has its own magical ingredient which yeah. we've decided is cocaine cocaine yeah that's the cocoa part um and what's cool about it is that they have all these like different selections like you can get a cutlet or you uh -huh. can get meat or like shredded vegetables or whatever. Mm. And so we like to have our own personal combination yeah. of things that we do. I personally like the beef sauce curry. Mm -hmm. I like to add cheese to mine, yeah. eggplant and mushroom. Mm -hmm. And I like it level 10 with 200 grams of rice. Well, I like the beef curry one as well, but I like with the lightly fried chicken, the mm -hmm. potty potty chicken. Uh, and I like with cheese as well. You have to get cheese in there because it adds a whole level I know level that of sounds goodness. gross, but it is not gross. Perfect. And then some of the garlic flakes on top of it as well. I forgot about the garlic flakes. Yes. So yeah. that's my recommendation. We potty definitely, potty chicken. isn't it putty putty? No, potty potty. We thought it was like putty putty prisoner. No, it's not putty putty prisoner. And potty, 10 potty. points if you know what that's from, guys. Putty putty prisoner! <laughs> feel the power. This is the Kichijoji Sudu Original Bean Roaster. And when we first walked past it, like I saw the intense roasting and I'm like, what are they doing that they're roasting so many beans? Turns out you can pick the green beans that you want. You can pick out what level you want to roast it at, like light, medium, dark. And then they'll be like, okay, come back in like an hour and we'll have hand roasted the beans for you. How amazing is that? So today we're doing Nepal and Colombia. And last week we did two different kinds and then they'll grind it for whatever you want. <laughs> I'm so happy. And now, because our last video one of getting over 10,000 likes, we are going to tell you something about We've noticed a lot of you are trying to read our lips whenever we say his name. But what you don't know is we do this every time. <laughs> we don't actually say anything. But there have been three guesses. One, Theories, huh? One person has tried to read our lips and say it's Dave. Another one said Nathan. And another one said Dan. And what we are going to tell you today is that one of those three is correct. If you want to know more about <laughs> make sure this video gets 10,000 likes and we will tell you something else next week. We got some awesome letters and postcards in the mail. First uh -huh. up, thank you so much to Alicia from Panama. Together. I also want to say thank you to Sasha for the amazing Russian postcard from Russia. And I also want to say thank you to Hillary Morningstar and thank you for reminding me about that time that you beat me at the Panty Hat Challenge in one of our fan meets. Thank you so much to Chloe from France who has incredible handwriting and is totally unfair. And I'm also going to say thank you to Tiffany from Singapore and thank you for making a paper crane. You know, I'm actually really, really good at making paper cranes. I kind of regret saying that to Martina because I didn't know that about she Simon. wanted to have a challenge and I should should have kept that secret. I am awesome. I would have been blown away if Simon's like. Ah! I have made so many as a kid. I even do like the little dumplings in the middle to give them width because otherwise we point up right there. Like a lot of techniques that you need to know for wow. making a good paper crane. And also a shout out to Logan, who mm. is supposed to be our youngest fan. He is just five years old. Yep. And his mom had to uh, transcribe yep. what he wanted to say to us here. It's, uh, it's pretty amazing. I just want to read it to you guys okay. because it's pretty Because you can't go wrong with it. <clears throat> You're on another planet really far away from Earth. You live in Japan, which is far from America. You're eating.
getting stuff all the places all around, even from China. I like to see all of the new foods you try, especially street food. All Asian foods are Chinese, according to me, but my mom is trying to help me understand the differences. Yep, that's important. <laughs> <Please>. yep. <laughs> you have a house too, and a bathroom, just like us. Yep. I hope that Spudgy gets his papers and comes soon. Yep. You named him Spudgy because he's a good dog. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he, is. he is a good dog, you named him Spudgy. Mom explained that Spudgy needs special permission to come to Japan, and I hope he gets it soon. I like the name Spudgy, and all dogs are good dogs to me. So that's it. it. Thank all you, bye dogs bye. must be Spudgy then. <laughs> it's like it's a, an amazing letter. Thank you so much. Moment. Thank you so much, Logan. Thank and you, Logan. hi to your mom, Ashley. Thank you for sending us that awesome letter. Your mom letter. is a great mom. Make sure you listen to your mom and do all of your homework. And Spudgy will be here soon. Spudgy will see you soon. Yeah. Thank you so much to Jean from Missouri. We think it's Jean. Jean. G E A N N E. J. Is it? What did it's, I say? It's J. G. You said G. It's Used to live in Korea and also in Japan. Uh -huh. So she sent us a care package according to things that she missed, including, yes. this is really thoughtful, cacao or cocoa nibs right. for making power balls. She said we she haven't made power balls yet. Yeah. We just got our furniture in on Sunday and now we can finally make stuff because we have all of our appliances and stuff. I like how you're like, we can finally make power balls, which requires no appliances. No, you need the rolling pin. Oh. You need the wax paper. Oh, can't get that in Japan. No, I don't want to buy new stuff if I have it. I'm cheap, all right? <laughs> <laughs> Frugal is an ugly word, but it's useful. <laughs> Gene. Gene. Thank you, Gene. Thank you so much. Gene. Gene, no. Gene, why are you with Cyclops? He's such a Cyclops. boring dude. Come on, Wolverine, look at him. He's all buff and likes to drink and enjoys watching sports. Cyclops is in the Gene anymore because Gene died, but then he wound up getting together with the White Queen. Uh, Emma Frost, but like Emma Frost actually broke up with him in the last comic that I read, so I'm not yeah. sure if they're gonna be together because that last comic is kind of like two years old, so also, I'm not sure how much they progressed in their relationship yet. Maybe they got back together or not, but I know that because like Emma Frost's powers aren't as strong as before, she doesn't have the psychic connection with him, and it kind of makes it difficult for them to speak with each other. But maybe we're gonna see because Cyclops' powers are broken as well, he can't really use his optic glass the way What I was gonna to. say is that Cyclops actually got a lot cooler afterwards when he kind of got broken and angry and was able to make terrible decisions, and Logan was a lot nicer, and he's like, I don't wanna do these things, I don't wanna do these things, Cyclops, it's wrong. And Cyclops was like, screw you. Wolverine, I'm Cyclops and boring. But then there was an alternative universe that Wolverine went to and he was actually dating Jean Grey in that universe and he was really excited to be there. <gasps> Except his old self had actually died and felt sad because he wanted to stay with Jean Grey, mm. but he couldn't because it was multiple universe and it could cause problems. That's the age of apocalypse. It is a yes, really good storyline. Like story hey, I just realized for the people that are trying to learn English, that section might have been very difficult for you to follow through with. I'm sorry if you don't have subtitles for that because, whoa, we speak Comics. a little bit too fast. Comics. 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 <laughs> I just got back from grocery shopping and I know my team is having a bad day, so I decided to get some flowers. No matter how long you've been together with someone, you always have to remember to get your special loved one something special every once in a while. Even though these were six dollars for three tiny flowers, holy shit, when we started dating these to be so much cheaper than that. Okay, but still, I love her and she deserves flowers. She's a special girl. Turkey, I got your flowers. I love you, sunshine. Your Gerberas. They're your favorites. They're my super favorite. You're my super favorite. I'm editing our pie face video. Okay, good. Okay, bye. You're so beautiful, coming. special. One, when I first saw you, I fell in love with you. <laughs> I'm not wearing any makeup. Have lots of super <laughs> pimples. Need some BB cream on my face. BB, BB, BB cream. That's a, that 2 p.m. song, man. It will never die. We will never let it die. Thank you very much to uh, Elizabeth and Paul from Maryland, NBC, yes. who I'd like to ask a question, Simon. How, why would you send us cookies that have already been opened and half eaten? Is there something you want to tell me about this package? I was really hungry before I got here. These don't even look like cookies. These look like pieces of fudge magic. It's space candy. Mm. It's the space ice cream. Please open this Let's up. It's so cool. Let's try this ice cream sandwich. Okay, I'm trying to find a piece look of this. Look at that. Message. That's okay, crazy. Here we go. Okay, ready? Astronaut ice cream yeah. sandwich. That's pretty good. Not an ice cream sandwich though. Mm, mm, mm. That was yummy. Really need some moisture with that. <laughs> <laughs> really, really dry. Yes. Oh yes. The scene copied me from last time. This is a lot better than the other one I got. Last time we went to like a cheap place as well, and now we're at like a hard for me is and for me. So Kiyaki and Don, and it's so good. Look at these noodles. That you can smell like Oh, all right, your noodle is never ending. My noodle is never ending. I think I'm far enough away that I don't care that. <coughs> Simon, it's just learning how to eat. 
You gotta mix up your egg before it cooks. Last yeah. episode, we asked you a skill testing question, which was, what food is Simon missing the most from and Korea? And the answer is definitely Korean fried chicken. KFC? I haven't found an equivalent here yet. I've had some fried chicken, mm -hmm. not as good as the Korean stuff yet. Maybe I need to go to like a better chain or whatnot, but I really- It feels like it's not a legitimate food to miss from Korea. I mean, I know that it is because <laughs> Korean fried chicken is super Look, special. Look, whenever you think about what you miss from Korea, it's usually like, oh, I miss like the doenjang jjigae, or I miss the kimchi, I or can I- I that on my own. No, I miss this, but I, that fried chicken is not something I can make on my own. I miss sundubu chiki, and I miss naengmyeon, and I miss bibim naengmyeon, and I really miss samgapsal, mm. and right now there's a new soju flavor, and it's like grape, and we still haven't had a chance to try that. Well, congratulations to Henry Matson. If you are the winner, please send us an email, and we will send you your toy capsule as soon as possible. And for this week's skill testing question, we ask you, what kind of hair dye does Martina use? What is the brand name of it? If you know the answer to this question, leave it in the comment section below, and then we will give you... <laughs> Another special capsule toy. This is a special one. Usually when the capsule toy comes out with black on the outside, it seems to be like a very unique capsule toy. Can I just say, you and your capsule toys, I, I really want to keep this one. You always want to keep everyone's capsule toys. You got to be generous and I share. I feel like a little kid at a birthday party yes. whose mom makes loot bags, and then I don't get to keep any of them. That's the worst, Although isn't this it? week I got a new hamster capsule toy, and it's a tiny hamster sitting inside of a, a little spoon. tiny spoon. So that's it for this week, guys. I'm going <laughs> to tickle you. Hey, why would you, you do always, that? You always torture me in the end. We torture each other. No, we don't we torture each other. other. We're just Through freezing good cold. Times and bad times. What is that? I'm here and you're sad for You're so mean! More. That's what ducks are for. <laughs> you're the worst.